DC drop simulation helps you identify areas in your design with excessive voltage drop or current density. DC drop simulation reports on the voltage drop and current density across power and ground nets. These reports help you see the effect of IC and connector pins that draw large amounts of current through your power supply nets at DC operating conditions. DC drop simulations help you find these areas in your design that have these problems. Excessive voltage drop, excessive current density, and excessive current density in the stitching vias. Excessive voltage drop, sometimes known as rail collapse, can cause the voltage supply to an IC power pin to fall below the recommended minimum operating voltage. Excessive current density and voltage island neckdowns can generate excessive heat in the power supply net, which can cause board failures such as PCB delamination and fusing. Excessive current density in stitching vias can lead to via failures, such as an open connection. DC drop simulation does not translate current density to temperature because it does not model how the heat spreads away from the regions with high current density. However, it does show regions in the design with concentrated current flow that, depending on the design details, can lead to excessive heat. The PADS Professional Hyperlink's Power Integrity Power Scope dialog box automatically opens and displays simulation results in 2D and 3D graphs that represent areas in your design. It displays DC voltage drop using color coding to indicate areas of higher and lower voltage drop, DC current distribution, and DC current density for metal and vias. You can also save and share these graphs.